Optifine 1.18.2 has just released, and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to download, install, and set up Optifine for Minecraft. Why would you want Optifine? Well, it allows you to stop lag in Minecraft, but also make Minecraft look better. That's what's so great about Optifine. It has two main purposes. One is improving performance and making Minecraft run lag-free, and it can also make Minecraft very, very beautiful by adding in things like shaders, increasing graphics settings, increasing render distance, all of that stuff. So Optifine is a dual purpose sort of setup. And we do encourage you to subscribe because we have a dedicated video on how to download and install shaders coming up very, very soon after this Optifine, dedicated Optifine video comes out, as well as a video on how to fix lag using Optifine. So we've got both of those coming out. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for those if you want shaders or if you want lag, like anti-lag Optifine settings, right? Nevertheless, though, we're going to show you everything you need to know to get Optifine set up in Minecraft 1.18.2 in this video. First and foremost, though, we have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love and trust Apex so much that we also our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them, so if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can check them out at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Optifine. What we want to do is go to the second link in the description down below, and then it's going to take you here. This is our dedicated text tutorial for Optifine. If you want to go through a tutorial more at your own pace and not with a video, that's what this is here for. It goes through everything showing you exactly how to download, install, and set up Optifine. However, we're going to be going over all of that in this video as well, and the video you're watching here will be listed up here at the top. It won't be 1.18.1, it'll be 1.18.2, the video you're watching right now, up here at the top. And let's just go ahead and scroll down and click on the green Download Optifine button to be taken to Optifine's official download page. Now, First things first, I want to note here that Optifine is currently in beta, right? It's in preview right here, as you can see. So you've got the preview versions, what you must click. However, if you don't have the preview version or if you have a version listed, like what we have with 1.18.1 here, right? If there's just a version listed under this, that's what you want to go with. However, currently under Minecraft 1.18.2, we have preview versions. So we need to select preview versions. Then we want to find Optifine right here. Come over and click the mirror button. I want to mention this one more time. If the preview versions has a version under it, you want to go with that version. But right now, only the preview is available. Come over here and click on the mirror, and that will take us to the official 1.18.2 Optifine download page. Once you're on this page, you simply want to click on this blue download button, and the download will begin in the bottom left. You might need to keep or save the file, depending on your browser. Save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, or keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser here, we can get Optifine to our desktop. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, or on the center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up, and in here you will find Optifine. Drag this to your desktop for ease of use. Now, if your Optifine logo here doesn't look like mine, the Java icon there, if it doesn't look like that, that's okay. Just continue on with the tutorial. We're going to cover that later if it is an issue. It might not be. So. First off, let's go ahead and right click on Optifine, click on Open With, and then if you have Java here, click on that and click OK. Now, if this opens up for you, awesome. If it does, go ahead, skip forward to the tutorial, just press the arrow key forward on your computer, a few clicks, and we'll be good to go. However, for those of you who didn't open this, because you either didn't have Java or your logos are broken, right? And that could be a sign that you don't have Java. Well, guess what? You need Java. Java 17 specifically is required for Minecraft mods and servers for 1.18.2. Guess what Optifine is? It's a Minecraft mod, so you need Java 17. Luckily, in the description down below, we have an in-depth guide on downloading and installing Java 17. It goes through everything you need to know. And again, you only need this if you couldn't get to the Optifine installer there. Now, for most of you, Java 17 will fix your issues. But for some of you, you'll need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. However, you need to install Java 17 first. So if you install Java 17 and you either still can't open up Optifine or your icons are still broken, what you need to do is run the jar fix at that point and it will link that jar file, that Optifine file, to Java 17 and allow you to open it. Finally though, we can minimize our browser, right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. This thing is going to open up the Optifine installer here, where we want to go ahead and just click on the Install button here. 
Nothing else needs to be changed. Literally just click install. At this point, Optifine will install and then come up and say Optifine is successfully installed. If it doesn't successfully install from the installer here, the reason is because you need to go play Minecraft 1.18.2. So just go play it with no mods, no anything installed. You have to open up vanilla Minecraft 1.18.2 before Optifine will work. Also, make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed out of when you're installing Optifine because that can also cause issues. So if you've played Minecraft 1.18.2 and Minecraft in the Minecraft launcher are closed, Optifine will successfully install like this. Click OK and it will close out of the Optifine installer and you can actually delete Optifine from your desktop as well. Now let's go ahead and open up our Minecraft launcher and then in the Minecraft launcher we need to select the Optifine installation. So once we're in the Minecraft launcher here we can actually see Optifine's already selected for us and if that's the case for you and it says 1.18.2 under it you're going to click play and click play again. However if you don't have Optifine automatically selected click this little arrow next to the play button and select it from this list. Again as long as it has 1.18.2 under it after that click play and click play again. But if you don't have Optifine here in this list or you do and it's not 1.18.2, in that case you want to click on installations up here at the top and first make sure modded is checked. As you can see we deselect modded, Optifine disappears. Check modded, there it is, click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Optifine or 1.18.2, Optifine, what we want to do is click on new installation. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com which is our incredible 1.18.2 grief protected survival on Skyblock server. It's absolutely incredible. Come check it out. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, though, under version, let's go ahead and click the drop down box here. And then we want to select release 1.18.2 Optifine. Right here it is for me at the top. You may have to scroll down to find yours depending on when you're watching this video, but up here at the top is where it is for us. Then we want to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing that. So once we get in game, you'll be able to easily see everything that's going on. It allows us to zoom in on the screen and do all that fancy stuff easier. So we're going to go ahead and click create in the bottom right. And now we have this new Play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.2 Optifine. Optifine under it. So what we want to do is hover over this, click the green play button, click that we understand the risks, and click play. What risk you might ask? Just that you're playing modded Minecraft and that Mojang doesn't support modded Minecraft. Let's say you have a crash. In that case, you're going to reach out to the Optifine developer and not the, you know, Mojang Minecraft actual developer. Makes sense, right? So nevertheless, now Minecraft is opening up with Optifine installed, and um, we just kind of have to wait. It's going to take a few minutes, most likely, to get Optifine open the first time, and it should be quicker in each time after that. It might not even take a few minutes, it might just be a few seconds, but as you can see, it is opening up. If you have a white screen like this, that's perfectly normal, and then it's going to load into Minecraft just like it would any other time, like no issues whatsoever. You might have freezing like this right here, and that's perfectly normal as well, and if you do get like a circle Looks like it's going to crash. It's probably not. I have a Lego resource pack installed. It's pretty cool. Upcoming video on that. But nevertheless, though, we're now in Minecraft. And most importantly, Optifine's installed. How do we know that? Well, if you look down here in the bottom left on the main menu, it says modded. And sure, that could mean Optifine, but it doesn't necessarily. However, we go into options and then video settings in the bottom left, we do see Optifine HD H6. H6 might be different, but you will see Optifine in the bottom left. And guess what? That means Optifine's installed. On top of that, you have all of the other awesome settings that you can change with Optifine. For example, doing extended render distance, doing better graphics, getting shaders, all of that stuff can now be done. You can also do things like change your performance settings and details and all that. You can also add in shaders. And if you want to see how to get shaders, check out the video on your screen right now because that video shows you exactly how to download and install shaders using Optifine. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. And come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. We can't wait to see you online. I'm out. Peace.